Hey guys, we're back with Everlasting Summer. Um, anything to say? Um, oh yeah, one thing to say before we start off, I'm, I don't know what to record. Like, you know, I have Everlasting Summer going for me, but I'm a retro that I, you know, finish it and then what else? I mean, I like to have like a side thing going uh, outside my main series. Like I did that with Steins Gate and Minecraft. But nowadays, you know, Minecraft, I haven't gotten any views on it, so you know, like, yeah. I knew I was a. Oh, it was like dying on my channel. It, assuming there's anything for my channel to die, like my channel's already dead. <laughs> but um, if you have any suggest suggestions, let me know. I'm looking for a non-end game to play. I don't really know what to do. Like I could do like the only thing I've thought of is Borderlands 2, but, but I've already beat it and I, I can only read like 10 frames on it right now. So I got a new PC whenever. There's also Final Fantasy 14 if I grind out a few levels, but I don't I don't know. So if you have an idea, feel free to leave a comment. Without further ado, let us begin. Um, where were we? I Who is marching forward in a lot? It is our Pioneer Squad, of course. Pioneers in a lot usually march to the canteen in the Sovinok. Sovi Sovionok camp. I was looking for a place where no one would disturb me, just like it happened before. Just so I can eat in peace. And for that I have to be at least not the last one to come. Oh. But I was pretty sure whatever happens here happens whether I want it or not. Hey, I, what's going on? Like I'm just going to lunch? The canteen was as full as an egg. Olga was standing at the entrance, guarding like a hawk. Well, Samian? Were you working hard today? Wait, was I working at all? I don't know. Hard enough. Well done. Truly well done. And the hardest is yet to come. Uh oh. You bet. Fine. Take a seat next to the girls. She pointed at the table next to the pillar. Slavia, Joanna, and Lena were all sitting there. Not a bad company. At least, not the worst one. <coughs> I took the meal and came up to them. Don't mind if I sit here? Well, I mean, she told me to sit here, so even if they do mind, you know, I have to sit here. I caught myself standing a bit scenic. Scenic? There are no other free places anyways. Yes, of course. No, wait, so, so she does mind. <laughs> I, I've always been confused on how to respond to that. Like, a lot of people I know just say yes, so go ahead. But like, so should I be saying yes or should I be saying no? I don't mind. Like, you know? Like, if I only want to give a one word answer, should it be yes or no? I don't, I don't even know. Please do, because... Like, the correct answer is no, but everybody I, I know seems to say just like, yes, go ahead. So, I mean, you know, that's confusing. So, please do. They're gonna, she's gonna kill me. Lena remained silent. Today, the meal consisted of a plate of Russian food. I found myself liking local food more and more. I guess I just came to the conclusion that I have no other choice, which means that there's no use in complaining. Thank God, there's some something to eat. I am I emphasized the wrong word. Can we need a dance party tonight? I don't know. He'll come. He got nowhere to go. You know that that could technically be like not a typo, but just because you know Yoyana is a kid. You know nobody knows how to use plurals and singulars correctly. Oh, and I said happily, you will come for sure. Of course, I can't miss the opportunity to watch you make a fool of yourself. Wow. She got it right, so <laughs> I've decided not to reply. And what about you? I asked Lena. Yes. She replied briefly. See? You should go too then. Well, Slavia, I did not ask you. Said Slavia as if leaving me no choice. Don't forget to put your tailcoat on. Well, wait, Lena is going, so I have to go. Apparently, Oana was so pleased with the joke that she laughed out loud. But I had nothing to wear. My wardrobe was just a pioneer uniform and winter clothes, which would be inappropriate even in the evening. And what will you be dressed in, an entertainer? Secret! Oh, it's... I'm scared. Will this be illegal, or...? <laughs> will be a little dressed like, just like in the kindergarten spirit. Mantini? Man... 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 Teen -y. Google. A performance in a theater or a showing of a movie that takes place in the daytime. So just kind of like, you know, like a kindergarten play, I guess. You're on ahead. Turn your head. Look, looks like a man's offender. Yes! 
No, I will wear I will wear a biohazard suit. Just so I don't get any infection from you. I bet she's actually gonna do it. I wonder what kind of infection you are you planning to get from me? Oh, what kind of infection are you planning to get from me? And after you guys don't quarrel Impe impeccable sleep impeccalous impeccable imbecility Im um, the imbecile disease basically you know being an imbecile you know um <laughs> how do you pronounce that <laughs> looks like Oliana was highly pleased with her as she thought really an answer again I, I give it a 3 out of 10 you know if you already have a flu you can't catch a cold it's a game for two what are you implying Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> I looked away slightly. Do you mean that she got hurt again? I don't mean anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, dude, guys, go away, Desu. <laughs> it's still fun to do that. Given that it was done who interfered, probably it really was time to just stop. You'll get what you're asking for. Uh-oh. She's gonna... What's she gonna do? Like, could she, like, chop my legs off and I'm Emmy now? That would suck. I, I like my legs. What? you finally grow wiser? Oh, I thought it was gonna be a short joke. What? Does she throw water in my... F she grabbed her plate filled with Russian food and toppled it over my head. This game meant an unexpected finale. Oh, you little... She jumped up and tried to run away. But this time, she won't get away. I grabbed her hand. Uh, now what? I just can't smash her head against my table. This time show lasts a few seconds. Okay, I have to decide something. Make a choice, make a choice! Something, Yolanda skillfully grabbed a glass full of compote and splashed it in my face. Then she managed to get it, my, my hand off of her. Um, yeah, like, I let go. She dashed off to, to the counter and I chased her. This resulted in several flip tables. <laughs> pile of splash table where five crippled pioneers with various injuries and full exhaustion of both parties. A draw, sort of. A villager, uh, a draw. With too much of bill, is that even, a, what does that mean? I don't speak smart. But, um, aggressive or warlike behavior. Oh, okay. Bill, biller, biller, during? Yeah, I think so. So it's like intelligence, but you know, like for war. See? We stood before each other and briefed heavily. heavily. Tell me you won't be out this way again. That's that's me. And you, Ugu? Olga sneaked up on us from behind. Uh-oh. When he looked down on it, such a guy couldn't be unnoticed. Well, are you satisfied with, with yourself now? No. I, I, I haven't done anything to her yet. I have to throw food in her face. Her voice appeared to be calm, but I was sure she was about to explode. Oh, she's gonna explode. And who's gonna clean up all this place? Her. Exactly what happened. Who? I'm asking you. Who? Uh, you, Olga. You cleaned it up. Him! Wait, no! No, 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 no. Have me get, have me get. That's a joke. You know, it's your responsibility, replied Oyana with full confidence. Her! I objected less confidently. Both. Ah, man! Ugh. Camp leader has given us a, a quiet, a quietness? Is that a word? To the skill, still ongoing argument. Generally, I wasn't sure that my, my share of the blame is more than hers. My voice, like when I tilted my head, it, it got all high pitched. That was weird. Uh, I honestly just didn't mean to do it. <laughs> like I just tilted my head like that. Well, I can talk like this. This is cool. I don't know I can do that voice. You know, I gotta give... That's electronics voice from now on. I just tilt my head and I, and I talk. I don't know how that works, but you know, that's cool. That's the electronics voice. Although, Oyana did not, didn't have a drop of guilt on her face. Although, that could be Oyana's face. Name. Beat it! Uh, is that how I did it? Uh, I'm not quitting! Hey, nobody got time for that! Okay, yeah, my, my voice is dying. I don't have enough drink to, to do with this voice. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. This is his fault. He started first. No, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. No. I'm not going to sort out all that nonsense. So I'm going to go grab him up, a bucket, some cloth, you know, 
that kind of stuff in the closet. And you, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. She looks at Oliana with a burning gaze. But I kind of felt a bit sorry for her. You, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. She looks a bit sad. Started to collect the broken tableware immediately. Oliana took a deep breath and t continued. You're nothing but a trouble. Oh, that, that, that's a bit... That's a bit harsh. How many times have I told you? I decided to skip the lecture and went to the closet that appeared to be near, near the exit. Suddenly, a perfect idea flashed in my head. Why don't I just turn away? Sure, Olga has caught us already. And I'm not the one to blame. Of course, I'm not the true pioneer she keeps talking about, but in comparison to Oyana. Anyway, she's the principal culprit. It's not like I have nothing better to do than cleaning up the mess here. I have to seek the answers. The truth is out there. Somehow flashed through my mind. Ooh, I I fa I assume that staying will get me Oyana points. So you know, let's just the solution came out of thin air. Um, <laughs> while Olga was scolding Oyana, I've sneaked up to the exit. Thank goodness it was nearby. Getting outside, I've hesitated for a few moments, moments to turn to electronic. It's time. Looks like he was working till late at the club. Where's the fire? <laughs> ten out of ten. One new voice again. Fire here. That's just <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm not doing that. I, I can't do voices. My shuttle is leaving in ten minutes. What? Hey, wait! Wait, shuttle? Electronic swords hung in the air behind me. I ran off to the square. It's definitely not the best place to hide. Indeed. In the state of stress or fatigue, I think I'd start talking to myself. Yes, I actually do that. Well, not in fatigue, but I just talk to myself. Well, not really talking, but rather mumbling under my breath. I, I've started commentating things I do in real life. I don't know if it's just because, you know, I'm used to recording things or what. Like when I'm, like, when I'm playing games, I just kind of commentate what's happening. Or when, like, I'm making toast, I'm like, okay, okay, three, two, one, and then the toast doesn't even come up. I'm like, oh, three, two, one, and the toast doesn't even come up. And I'm like, three, two, and the toast jumps up, and I'm terrified. I, that actually happened to me last night. Well, not really talking, but rather mumbling under my breath. I have to concentrate and find the right solution quickly. Okay, where to next? Where should I go? The best place would be the one with the least amount of people. The library. Consequently, my way lies to the woods. Half a minute later, I was already relaxing, sitting on the stump near the forest trail. And we meet Cat Girl. That was a pretty cool getaway. Hopefully that will teach Oyana to behave. Indeed, she's not a child anymore. Or maybe she is. Well, sad but true. Not a child anymore. Now, it's not crossed my mind. I might have sort of mishandled this whole, whole situation. A fair share of broken tableware is on my account. Moreover, moreover, one might mention that I didn't have to engage in this, to this mess from the beginning. No, I had to be engaged in this mess. I had to teach her, even though I didn't teach her anything. They got me thinking. What's that sound? How's the weather? Oh, hey, stop ya! God! Zavi so stood right before me. How does she manage to stick up unnoticed? She's a ninja. Thank goodness, it's not Olga. Fine. That were the only words I managed to squeeze out of myself. That? It, it, that's supposed to be those. Just thought I'd find you here. Why? I'm not sure, it's just... She looked up at the sky. You can't see the sky, there's like a canopy. Or, or no, you see those beams of sunlight. Means that the canopy isn't right here. There are less people around here. Does Thavia really think I have some sort of social phobia? Wait, so did she leave before that mess happened in the cafeteria? The canteen, not a cafeteria. Thinking twice, she actually had a reason to do things so. And what are you doing here? Looking for ya? Ooh. I don't know if I like my, my, like my game feels for a second there or not. It didn't look like it, but it... It, it looked like it put emphasis on the why. She smiled again, but this time her smile looked a bit different. A little friendlier, I guess. Me? Why? Can't you guess? I raced and prepared for a harsh lecture. I understand that you're guilty to a lesser degree than Oyana. It's the camp leader's assistant defending me. Wait, it is... It, she's defending me? I felt, felt even more pathetic. Serious! We're not playing bad cop, good cop here. But granted, that you aren't gonna help her. You will help me. Ah! Saying that, Slavia looked up at the sky yet again. I wonder what she's looking for me in there. I'm not gonna get on the Slavia route, am I? And what do I need to do? We have to reorganize the books in the library. 
So I better than the disciplinary enslavement together with Oleana. <coughs> Wait, library. Lena. And anyways, it was an offer. I could not refuse. I'm at I'm at your service. Meta made it muz muzzle. Oh yeah, that's that's a French word. I, I, we we've googled this before. It means like um like ma'am in French, I think. Yeah, it's a French language equivalent of miss. It's may may de mosole, meaning um like you know sick may mays like um you know like like you know like sad sad man and um dogs. She left. Then follow me, Monsieur. So are we actually speaking French or are we speaking like um like English like? I don't know because this game was in Russian, so I don't I don't even know. A couple of minutes we were in the library. All the while I kept looking around in fear of meeting Goga. It looks like Savia didn't notice my anxiety. So no, it's quite odd that she hasn't scolded me. Well, if we were to continue our analogy, Savia is definitely a good cop. When we came in, had a gleaming sunlight streamed through the windows of the library with myriads myriads of dust particles dancing in the beams. This is a special library dust with the it's a distinctive smell that you can never confuse with anything. I know that smell. Those microscopic pieces of more more what's more fun? Um of a person at the point of death of a thing in terminal decline, lacking vitality or viker. You know, learning new words every day. Um, collected works of Marxium Lenin that's um communist leaders. Leninism classics. So basically like a time period. That's interesting. Does the dust near the fiction self shelf smell alike to the dust near the books on physics and chemistry? You start with those zeros. <gasps> oh! There's actually a game! It, it's a VN. I, I, I've seen it a few times. Um, I, I, I don't actually know if it's good or not, but it's called um, My Girlfriend is the President. <laughs> I was actually talking to a friend about it, and uh, I looked at the Wikipedia article. Apparently, there's a, there's a, the main girl's name's Ohama, um, the president, of course, oh, President Ohama, and uh, there's somebody named that the um the, like the leader of Russia is Putina, um, I I don't know what that's based off. Of. You start with those girls. She pointed at a bookshelf and the Lenin sculpted that right there. Okay, but why? What exactly do I have to do? Just remove the books from the shelf and put them on the floor. We'll dust them and we'll put them back. By looking at all this dust, reading is barely a pioneer's favorite activity. Any idea where Zinnia might be? Don't know. She probably went somewhere. Strange. It appears that there are only two places in the world where one can meet Zinnia. Library and the canteen. I got into gear. I guess I've never held so many books in my hands simultaneously in my entire life. Anyways. I'm much more used to reading from a computer screen or a tablet. Firstly, there's no need in paying for electronic books. And secondly, you cannot find everything in printed form. How's it going? Asked Gavia, standing behind the bookshelves. It's okay, going on little by little. Have you read anything from that? From what? Well, about communism. <laughs> I'm more into historical books. Historical! So, communism. We are! And adventures. Me too. Well, historical li literature wasn't exactly my favorite. But the class struggle under socialism was definitely no match for it. Hey, don't take grudge for Oyana. That, that's Slavia. I don't. That that was me. You could tell by the the slightly different tone of voice that I do. Indeed, I felt that my ego mostly recovered from the incident in the canteen. Bes besides, I managed to clean myself from the lunch leftovers in the forest lake. It's not like she's doing it all out of spite. Out of spite or not, but one thing. One should think through his own actions. Ah, uh, whatever. I kept moving around testing the book written by people totally unknown to me. I'm gonna forget who they are in a minute, and I'll never get to know what they're writing about. That is the doom of many writers, to become a forsaken set of letters and hardcover on a bookshelf in a library of a non-existent pioneer's camp reality. <laughs> that was cool to say. Have you finished? Yeah, I think so. Me too. Alright, let's do it this way. I'll be wiping them up, and you'll you'll be putting them back on the shelf. But I don't re re rem remember in what order they were placed before. It's okay. Nobody would sell anyone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Looks like she has a smile for every occasion. 
Only a couple types of men should notice slight differences. Shades of emotions and then smile, smile, joy, happiness, sadness. But those shades were so ever ever word. <laughs> I wasn't really sure I'm not imagining things. This time her smile looked a bit flirty. No no no, I want let her out, let her out, let her best girl. Yeah, probably. At least I won't be reading this stuff. Slavia was wiping the covers with a damp cloth, and I was putting the books back on the shelf. We were a good team. Our job was almost done. Why don't you take anything from the upper shelves? Upper shelves? I looked up. Sorry, had it, haven't noticed them. It's alright. Wait a moment. I is she taller than me? I'll bring the chair. Even with my rather considerable stature, I won't be able to get them. I sat out on the chair and proceeded with removing the books from the shelves and p passing them to Slavia. After a while, there was only about a dozen books left on the farthest end of the shelf. It looked to me that it won't be hard to reach out. I have always felt like taking a larger bite than tight biting twice. Doing that bite without moving the chair under me became the fatal error in my plans. Rip in peace. Oh, classic! The fall on the girl cliche. Uh, the classic. But, you know, it doesn't do a revealing pose, so um, minus five points. You know, so uh, this CG has um, seven points. Um... Opening my eyes, I found myself on top of Slavia. Uh, are you, did I, are you alive? No, I actually killed her. I got a fright of my life. Even if I'm only 17 now, falling down from a chair on a girl is something else. I'm fine. Her face was only an inch away from my mind. Anything broken? Don't think so. You'd become a rather bad stuntsman. She laughed. You bet. I flipped into her eyes. No, no, just look. No, no, don't, no, don't do it. Don't do it. I wasn't sure what should I say. And Slavia either hesitated to or just let me take the lead. No, no, no. At this rate, something might happen. No, no. Her lips were too close to my. No, 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 no. The natural desire stemmed to wake in my body. But was it right? No, no, no. I had a desire to stand up, but I was unable to do so. Slavia was just lying in silence, look, looking me straight into the eyes. All of a sudden, I noticed the bells down on the edge of my hearing. It's dinner time. Yes! Yeah! Shall we go? Or shall we lie some more? She smiled again, and this time her smile seemed foxy to me, as if she was hinting something. But let's go! I haven't moved an inch. Well, to get going, you need to get up first. Obviously. It felt like some invisible force was holding me into place. She seemed to recognize that and carefully slipped out from under me. Are you gonna stay there? She laughed. At this point, I finally came to my senses and stood up. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. But we haven't finished it all. We'll have to clean up the rest later. Yeah, yeah, sure. I was keeping silence throughout all the canteen. Slavia rambled about us the slice of life in camp, but given that it was indeed a monologue, I was paying too much attention. Well guys, I think I'm gonna call it there for now. Um that's been Everlasting Summer Part twelve. We almost lost. We almost lost lost the war. But you know, we left managed to last another day. So, um yeah, that's been that. Stay tuned for episode thirteen. Um yeah, I had some joke about like it being unlucky, but I forgot it. But um, well, that's awkward.